Welcome to Marvelicious Toys. We bring you news and reviews of Marvel toys, statues, and more. Because not all Marvel collections can be bagged and boarded. They're not just toys, they're Marvelicious. I didn't expect to see sets from Ant-Man. Yeah, this is a kind of a head-scratcher. I did not expect, because I, I kind of feel like this movie is not receiving the attention and love it maybe is expected to, because that trailer was very underwhelming. It was a teaser. It could get better. It, it teased that it might not be a good movie. Let me tell you what I love about what Lego's done with this set, though. It's really... It's a great concept. And I don't know if they have more coming. They had a sign out saying that there will be Ultimate Spider-Man and Ant-Man sets that aren't announced. So I think there's more coming. This is the final battle set. You get, a minor spoiler alert, Hank Pym in Ant-Man outfit, as well as Ant-Man. So Michael Douglas is going to suit up at some point for the final battle. And then you get Yellow Jacket. But... All of these characters, all these minifigures, they're standard minifigure size, but the set is scaled like they're ants. So you <gasps> get a little screw that's giant, uh, and it comes with Lego bricks that are big. That's awesome! But yeah, isn't that a great concept? Yes! So that if the figures were ant size, that's how big a small Lego brick would be to that them. That is so much more clever than making them actually small. That's, yeah. That's pretty good. Lego's got some good Imagineers. Yeah. I mean, I imagine to a regular minifigure, Ant-Man would be even smaller than those helicarriers figures are. But, yeah, I thought it was kind of a cute set that you get regular sized minifigures, but all the accessories and the giant thing that has, like, some kind of weird... They're not even Lego piece. I think they've got, like, wire bend -em wings on the creature that Hank Pym is riding. No, so, that's kind of neat, too, though. Yeah, it, lo it actually looks like a nice set. Then they are going to do some Ultimate Spider-Man stuff. One really, really confused me because it's Sandman in a construction set. It's called Rhino and Sandman Supervillain Team-Up. I don't watch Ultimate Spider-Man. It's a little too sugar-laced for me in that I imagine if a kid ate an entire box of Fruity Pebbles and followed it with a sugared soda, that's the level of energy this show is. It's constantly at 11. But I guess this is directly from it, but it had Sandman in a construction set, making me think of the end of Spider-Man 3, right? Because he's towering mm -hmm. up on this big thing of sand and has a giant sand fist. But... Then, really throwing me for a loop is the thing that I hope Hot Toys never makes, that mechanized rhino. It's a guy oh. in the rhino suit. Like, I am the rhino from End of Amazing Spider-Man 2. That was a terrible Russian accent. It was a horrible Russian okay. accent. I completely agree with that. As long as you can admit it. Yes, I never claimed to be able to do voices. But it's this big place that you also get an iron Spider-Man with it. So quite a bit going on a regular spider-man but the rhino is just what was throwing me is to see this amazing spider-man 2 rhino teaming up with the sandman it's like the battle of the bad movie ideas <laughs> the iron spider-man figure is kind of cool though yeah it's i always like that because it's got nice coloring there's also a much smaller and coming out late in the year ultimate spider-man set that's ultimate spider-man the miles morales version against carnage and hmm. I, I thought we got that carnage before so it may be a bit of a reuse of a minifigure or a retooling of a minifigure. And then off to the side, far away, they're doing the next Spider-Man Junior set. This is the one I think you can build, Marjorie. Because uh -huh, I get pretty frustrated at, like, four-piece Lego sets. Well, this is a four-year-old set, but it's 137 pieces. It uh, may take some patience. That sounds like a lot of work. You get three minifigures on this, a green goblin, a nice classic green goblin with a purple hat, not like we've been seeing an ultimate spider-man and things a spider-man and i love spider-man's little base i mean it's got little pumpkin bombs that look just like little discs on it but spider-man's got a helicopter with the spider logo on the side and a web kind of dangling down and he's got a home base that has a slide well yeah why not i want a slide in our house you haven't built it yet <laughs> it's kind of cute it reminds me of like the fisher price sets i had yeah. as a kid where you'd always put the figure down the slide but the green goblin with the translucent pumpkin bomb makes this a must-have in his goblin glider. Yeah, he's super cute. Very cute. 
So it looks like it's another great year from LEGO, and I like the number of sets they're doing. Over at Star Wars Action News, we covered their sets. They do too many for Star Wars for me to be able to be a deep collector of that. And by doing so many, they make me really pick and choose. And so a couple that I'd be on the fence on, I don't buy. Whereas a couple I might be on the fence on for Marvel, I will buy because there's not that many. And I'm able to keep up and have that complete minifigure collection. I like the pace at which they're doing it. A bunch from Age of Ultron. Again, I think Quicksilver gets the shaft. We get Hulk, we get Thor, we get several Iron Mans, Hawkeye, Black Widow. If you buy the Helicarrier, you even get Nick Fury and Maria Hill. But no Quicksilver, at least not announced. Oh boy, Comic-Con minifigure exclusive. Oh, possibly. Ugh. But a real nice showing from them. Thanks for watching this video. You can see full episodes of Marvelicious Toys with more collecting news and reviews at MarveliciousToys.com. We also have thousands of toy and collectible photos in our photo gallery. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, make mine Marvelicious.